microscope. Up and Adam, everyone. It is half past the hour on this Wednesday morning, the 18th of February. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bruce Edwards. This is Cheryl Lemke. Mm -hmm. Uh, today is a day when, well, it's it's messy in the Northeast for your commuting to work, but uh, I'm sort of thinking spring already. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at the temperatures, they're pretty mild in the Northeast. And if you want to think spring, how about in Milwaukee? they got the boat show starting today, and at the Pontiac Silverdome. And uh, outside of Detroit, they got the boat sport and fishing show starting today. So that'll get you thinking about spring. Start casting that That's right, doing a little uh, boating, fishing, <laughs> getting out on the lakes. It gets you thinking spring, gives you a little taste of spring fever. And I guess you could say we have the April showers in the mm -hmm. Northeast, a lot of that. You know, kind of a prelude to the upcoming weekend. The nice mild temperatures will be lasting for the next few days, so mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of folks might be thinking about getting out, maybe doing some fishing, golf, tennis, whatever. Yeah, if we can get it dry enough. <laughs> That's right. We'll keep our fingers crossed. But this morning it has been very, very wet. And in fact, we've had a very active weather pattern. We've just had a series of storm systems plowing into the west, and they mainly take kind of a southerly route. They work their way across the south, tracking across the Gulf Coastal region. That's what happened yesterday. We had several reports of very strong thunderstorms, some packing hail and very heavy amounts of rain and gusty winds too. And now that storm system rotting off towards the northeast. And boy, what a gray, murky Wednesday across much of the country. So kind of a gloomy start to your Wednesday. We have three storm systems of concern today. Our first storm system was the one that brought the severe weather across the southeast. Now it's lifting to the north. At the same time, though, a new storm system is taking shape across the southwest, and this may eventually bring a round of showers and thunderstorms later this afternoon and tonight for those of you around Dallas. Meanwhile, another system coming in across the west a little bit weaker, but there's going to be an even more substantial storm system that will likely take uh, aim on the Pacific Northwest later tonight and tomorrow. So again, just a parade of storm systems lying farther out into the Pacific, and they will all slam into the west over the next several days or so. Into the northeast we go, as we've been mentioning, a very difficult morning commute. Mainly some lighter rains around the Ohio Valley, but we've had some soaking rains lifting across southern sections of New England. Basically, we have our main low pressure system over western Ohio, but there's a vigorous upper level disturbance that's also kind of pivoting its way across the northeast. And part of that upper level disturbance spawned a possible tornado yesterday near Fredericksburg, Virginia, and Fred Fredericksburg, Maryland, I should say. And now that piece of energy is lifting over across the northeast, and we're seeing some really heavy downpours over parts of Massachusetts around Worcester, Mass, heavy downpours, soaking rains too coming in across Connecticut. So be really careful this morning if your travel plans take you across the Merritt Parkway. Again, the rain surging across the northeast, a slow go across the Massachusetts Turnpike. More rains, too, as we head over towards New York and Pennsylvania. We've had the rain around JFK and LaGuardia this morning. It's lightening up a little bit, but still a little wave of moisture coming in from the south. And more rains, too, around the New York Thruway, back through the Pennsylvania Turnpike, and a cold rain event back through the Ohio Valley. Now, it's rather unusual because it's February, and to see this much precipitation, you might think it's falling in the form of snow, but that has not been the case. Temperatures right now, 30s and 40s across most of the Ohio Valley, so certainly mild enough to support just plain rain as opposed to snow. But nonetheless, it has been raining Lexington and Louisville over towards Dayton and Toledo, Ohio. We have more spotty rain, too, coming in across Indiana. With the storm system rotting to the northeast, it's also generating some very stiff winds. Currently around Falmouth, Massachusetts, winds gusting in excess of 50 miles per hour. A real stiff, strong onshore flow today, a raw morning. With those strong winds, gale warnings have been posted throughout the northeast. Meanwhile, still some wraparound moisture, too, kind of curling back towards the Tennessee Valley. And they've had a few light sprinkles this morning around the Atlanta metro area. But certainly, the worst is over. Yesterday morning, the commute was just a nightmare across the southeast. Much better than what we saw yesterday, but again, some light rains around Atlanta. More light rain, too, as we head over towards Crossville, Tennessee, and Knoxville, right across the Cumberland Plateau. Most of this moisture continues to lift off towards the northeast. We pick up more rain action, too, as we head towards the Ohio Valley and the nation's heartland. Again, just a smattering of showers around Lafayette and uh, the Rick Grissom Air Force Base in Indiana. More rains, too, over towards Belleville, Illinois. Kind of a cold rain across eastern Iowa. Then as we get farther towards the north, temperatures start to fall off. And here we're seeing some snow coming down this morning around Bismarck and Jamestown, Pierce, South Dakota. You're also getting a taste of winter, too, on into Sioux Falls and Sioux City, Iowa. 
But elsewhere, though, it's the rain. So again, just give yourself some extra driving time as you're heading to work or school this morning in Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana. To the west we go. Well, Denver, you're in great shape this morning. Kind of quiet, too, as we head over towards Las Vegas and San Diego and Los Angeles. But there's our next storm system gearing up across the southwest. So far, it has brought some rains as far south as Fort Huachuca, Arizona. We've had some rain, too, around Douglas. Nearly three-quarters of an inch of rain has fallen since last night. And there's our next storm system coming on board across the Pacific Northwest. And now a quick look at the temperatures. And again, as far as February is concerned, this is not too bad. Granted, you'll still need your winter coats this morning, but nothing really bone-chilling cold, nothing too terribly frigid. Right now, 35 for Des Moines, Iowa. Good morning for those of you in Chicago. Grab the coats. It's 39 degrees this morning. Boston sitting at 36 and 45 and rather wet around New York City. How about the rest of your Wednesday? Let's check out the forecast with Bruce. All righty, we got it for you. Midday, we see our storm churning in the northeast, and that'll continue to keep it rather damp, although it will begin to lift on up across southern New England later in the day. The slow spread some showers into Texas, and lo and behold, another Pacific Northwest storm. What else is new? Into the Northeast, though, with that low cranking on up, we will see the precipitation gradually end from south to north as everything lifts on through. Northern sections of New England will pick up the snowfall, a little transitional area, and some uh, heavier rains early this morning here in southern New England gradually tapering off as we go through the day, but into the Ohio Valley where the low cranks around, it will be mild, but it will be moist. 50 in Pittsburgh for a high today, 50 also in New York, about 37 or 8 in Boston. To the southland, we will see a partly to mostly sunny day by and large. 81 degrees towards Miami, 74 Tampa, 79 Orlando, Atlanta about 56. But late in the day, clouds increase and showers will skirt toward Dallas later today, but still mild, high of about 60. The northwest once again gets another storm. That means more significant rain around western Washington and Oregon into northern California. San Francisco 59, and generally we're talking uh, increasing clouds, but staying dry. L.A. looking good at 68 degrees. While the low will continue to churn in the Ohio Valley, scattering some showers, but 41 for Chicago, a little snow in Fargo and 35. Each new day, people across America add just a little more beauty to their lives by adding something beautiful to their homes. Vinyl siding by Alcoa. Low maintenance exteriors that reflect the timeless beauty of nature. So today, the Larson's masterpiece in Davenport and the Morgan's contemporary in Connecticut never looked better. Vinyl siding for your home's most beautiful side. Beauty inspired by nature. Siding created by Alcoa. Check your yellow pages for an Alcoa contractor near you. My daughter, Miss Too Cool for Family.